Putin has put Russia on a path to be a world power with global influence. Putin is counting on the U.S. fear of escalation and fear of confrontation to stop any thought of retaliation. Historically, aggression unanswered has led to more aggression. We are certain to lose the war unless there is major and comprehensive change. Putin has begun a proxy war with the United States. How can the United States stand by and do nothing? If we continue to wring our hands and continue to be dominated by fear and opposed to instilling fear, then Russian aggression will not just advance in the Middle East, it will with certainty escalate in the Baltics and in Eastern Europe. Now is the time for a firm hand. General Jack Keane is chairman of the Institute for the Study of War, a Fox News military analyst, and he is the man whose surge strategy helped turn the tide during the war in Iraq. General, welcome and thank you for being here. Delighted to be here and good to see you, Samantha. You, you too, General. General, this is, listening to your words there today, so strong, but so scary. In fact, at one point you said aggression that is unanswered normally leads to more aggression. What did you mean by that? Well, sad as it is, uh, when, you, when you have thugs and bullies and killers uh, imposing their will on their own people or other people's people, if, if you don't respond to it, it just keeps coming because they're encouraged by their own success. The most vivid example of it, 1938 Nazism, war-weary leaders at that time, Hitler began to march. He could have been stopped easily at the beginning and nobody did anything and the greatest calamity in the history we, of mankind. General, what are we doing then? You heard Ash Carter, we're talking about being professional or that we are being unprofessional. I don't know, but meanwhile, Russia is gaining ground. They are strengthening. Putin is gaining power. What are we doing? It feels as if we are standing, standing idly by. You're, you're absolutely right. We, we essentially are, and those comments, I mean, I found, find those comments stunning. Listen, here's what Putin has done. He has moved out of Europe and Russia uh, for the first time ever with military force. Why is he doing that? He is bringing everything that he has to make certain that his ally does not fall. We, we have a far better military than he does, but he's brought the best of his sophisticated equipment to this to make certain that Assad's regime is going to be preserved. Meanwhile, the United States abandoned Mubarak in the region, we abandoned Iraq, we retreated from Yemen, and we, we retreated from Libya. What a message he is sending to the region. And you said also, by the way, General, in that testimony today that even more significant is Russia's alliance with Iran, which will diminish U.S. influence and interest in the region. Uh, your words are very powerful. And I, I was talking to Ambassador John Bolton the other day, and, and I said, do you think that Putin's capable? Because I do think that the United States for a long time has underestimated his ability to strategize and to commit to that strategy. Is it a matter of the United States underestimated his ability uh, to be this strong? Or is that we committed to a strategy and we're unwilling to, fail, to change it in the face of failure? Yeah, that, that, that's really a great question. It goes deep to the heart of what this issue is all about. I mean, Putin clearly sees NATO countries that border on on Russia as a threat to his security and I think he clearly is about eventually trying to break up NATO. He's also made a, a, an important decision. This alliance with Iran that you mentioned is an absolute game changer and the strategic implications of it are very significant. It will impact every country in a region who will now begin to have relationships with Russia and Putin as opposed to the long-standing relationships we had with the United States. It doesn't mean the United States isn't a player anymore, but our role in the Middle East is about to be diminished significantly, Samantha. And uh, General, what is, what is the one thing that we should do now, if anything, if we act right now? Well, I still think we should back up our opposition moderates who we trained, much as Putin is backing up 
uh, Assad. There's, there's mm. prudent things that we can do. Crater the runway, stop the airplanes from taking off for a while. Mm. Put up safe zones, put refugees in there and opposition forces. Right. That would get huge community, international community support. There's much we can do. The Pentagon knows what to do. General Jack Keane, always, always great to talk to you. Thanks for joining us.